Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Let's <laughs> go. 
can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. This one's neck is broken. He was young, probably the son. your family. They mocked my talent.
I've never seen such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school.
speak English, do ya? Best turn around if I were you. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Maybe you could help me. Name's Albert Palmer. I'm a wet boot boy now, so mind your mouth. Palmer? As in... Benjamin? Palmer. Unfortunately, the bastard was my father. Dead in the gutter, killed by some arsehole while drunk. So they were ready. I'm afraid. Let's just say I don't deny it. But carrying a gun. Be careful how you talk to me. Otherwise, the next time you hear a gunshot in Whitechapel, it'll be the last thing you hear. Now, f how are things in people run? What are from? Why don't I can be? Pre and what about you? <laughs> A great I fuck you. Very well. Good evening, Albert. Wait. Have con I'm ready for it. I know you have an appointment with the wet boot boys' leaders, Albert. Where are they? The meeting was cancelled. The gang's in a right mess since Clay vanished. He ran things, Clay Cox. Others have either died or disappeared. What is happening to the gang? Is it the epidemic? I've been hearing about a new gang called the Guard, or some such. More vigilantes than crims from what they're saying. What else do you know? Nothing, I swear. The Guard is growing, but they don't recruit just any old bastard like myself.
Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. I hate it all. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you all. has been proven by many.
It's locked. I will not let you down. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. How... Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place, but couldn't. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal, and unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Do you require medical attention as well, Mr. Do you know... Despite... Well, at least your reputation seems...
I'm so tired. Will this shift never end? I die before my son. I die before my son, no. He needs me so much, so much. I'm all right. Don't worry. Good evening, Mr. Go- I'm okay. Your mother won't let you down, Mortimer. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. Do you need any help? I will see you. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. My sweet girl reads me like a book. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good eve. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead, or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? You put a price on hope. This goes against everything you swore to uphold as a nurse. Report me then, Dr. Reed. Report the little nurse and keep on lying about the surgical errors, the wrong dosages and diagnostics that we all covered for the sake of our colleagues. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together, and I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first. 
Even though Milton would say it was his to protect me. Do you need medical? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness. Not under my watch, nurse. Thank you. I knew I should have fled this rotten city with Milton since the first day of the contagion. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doc. I'd like to see your wise choice, Doctor. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need any medical help? I'm afraid of. Our job. That's easy. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. The question is where can we go? Where is it safe? Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. Goodbye, Milton. Perhaps I should have considered the offer for that Cadigan fellow. Good evening. Soldier. No. As long as you remember. Don't. Time has lost its effect on me. But the suffering continues. Where were you? I really didn't know if you were an. How could. Aren't oh, she's quiet? So do you let her bite? You? And why not? She. And it's a no. I wish I could. You. In a. Why do you... I wasn't... 
Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn. The pain. Good evening, Miss Hartcroft. I need blood. Tell me, th I... you mean yes. You have no. What? Tell me. Th I'm. D of course. Would you. S no. Who are you, really? Is I'm Kim. No. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Time has lost its effect on me, but the suffering continued. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening. I want to know about these secret tests you run, and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Rick. Nurse Brannigan has been recently accused of neglecting her professional duties. Tell me what you really think about it. This kind of protest is nothing but elitist bullshit. I trust Nurse Brannigan with my life. She has what it takes to be a great doctor. Do you really think she could be the next Elizabeth Blackwell? Believe me, Dr. Reed, a time will come when skill and skill alone will determine who can be a physician and who cannot. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadogan fellow. Good evening, Nurse Brown. Good evening. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, Nurse. Yes, Nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. You're mistaken, Nurse Brannigan. To be forbidden to enter medical school because of your gender is one thing. To break hospital rules is another. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. How are things here? 
Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. We have no effective treatment for this influenza. We are. Yes. Does the Brotherhood of St. Paul... Well, I'm afraid... Who could... Usher Tree, our current primate. Maybe the only one able to answer you. He's a discreet man who lives in the West End. It looks like the epidemic is spreading to the Western districts of London. It won't be an easy task, my friend. This... Do you not think... If anyone can... Since this epidemic is... I admire... Do you know a... No, I... But a look... Yeah. Did he contact... It would not... Thank you. Can I help you? Thank you for your time. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked, all right. 